Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. I'm trying, y'all. We're trying. Actually, we're doing really well with the protection. You know, it's not going to be everything, but anyway. I hope y'all are having a great day. If you want to go ahead and comb through all of the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Y'all, okay, so I am on this workout kick. I am trying to do 30 days straight. I'm on day seven and I just finished day seven on my elliptical. So really excited about that. And I'm so excited to film this video. I hope you all have had a great week. So with President's Day, we were off and then it was Marky's birthday, but I'm gonna tell you. I can't find my phone. Oh, do you want me to ring it? Let me ask you a question. Can you tell me, first of all, you have ice cream on your chin. I get it cover your back. And I understand. And I understand that you're very sensitive to it. And I understand that it hurts your ears. But do you think it's okay to yell? No. Okay. So you already know. So what is uh, something else you could do instead of yelling eat like that? My bed. Eat your, no, not eat on my bed. That's not a solution. I'm listening. What else could you do? I just, I'm going to go upset. Eat. Oh, yes. Eat where? I'm upstairs. On? The table. Yeah, on your table upstairs. That would be a great idea. So I'm going to ring your phone. Here it is. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Hmm. It's under some stuff. You're okay? Yes. Okay. Well, okay yourself on out. Because so I'm tired. Now, nah, this is just too much now. Now, look at this bed. I was saying that when I'm off during the week, like on a Monday, these weeks seem longer than the regular five day week. That was an example of like one of the kinds of things that have been going on this week. Anyway. I'm happy to be with you guys and we are going to go ahead and go through the makeup releases. Now I do want to share a purchase that I made and y'all, okay. It's a purchase, but kind of not, it's kind of a gift because I got gift cards for my birthday. So I'm not really sure how we should consider this, but I did decide to spoil myself with two of the house lab blushes. I got the watermelon bliss and the hibiscus haze. So we'll see. And then I like two of the other shades and I like them when we talked about them last week, I was talking about my unearthly cosmetics blushes as being really similar. Uh, we'll have to do a comparison, but I consider that a gift, right? I didn't spend any of my money on it. And when else is a better time to get something that you normally wouldn't get than your birthday? That's how I see it. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just saying like it was a gift card. There's that. And my Odin's eye palettes are supposed to be here today. They could possibly be in the mailbox, but I didn't hear the mail truck. And I usually have like bionic hearing with the mail truck. So. I don't think that's here yet. Let's look at these makeup releases and see what's happening in these streets. I will just go ahead and put it out there. A lot of nostalgic uh, releases this week and I'm gonna be safe from those because I'm just, I'm just done with it. So let me just move on over. By the way, this is the 14 Hands Winery Unicorn Rose Bubbles. Uh, this, they don't sell this on my side of town. So Tamron got these for me and um, I like them. This is, yeah, rose bubbles, but they have like Pinot Grigio, stuff like that. So just something, you know, nice and calm. All right, moving over. So on Monday, I just want to share, I also had my physical. One of the things that, you know, the doctor goes over is your, you know, all of your blood work and, you know, body composition, everything like that. 
We talk a lot about lifestyles. Everything is looking great for me. I have to get a thyroid ultrasound. Not that y'all asked, but I'm just letting y'all know. I have to get an ultrasound of my thyroid. And then over 40, he recommends a chest x-ray. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting that. I need to go see an eye doctor. I'm not having any problems, but I have not been to an eye doctor. Do y'all go to an eye doctor? I mean, my vision's fine, but I have not had an eye test like beyond the regular one they give me at the doctor's office. The one thing he said to me that really stood out was don't schedule exercise around your life, schedule life around the exercise, like just make that a priority. And it really stuck with me. So as I said, since Saturday, I have been just really on it. 30 minutes on my elliptical and I'll mix it up, but I had to build my endurance because I just got that machine. So I had to build my endurance back up from like my gym days because I used to be on there for like 30 to 45 minutes. And the first time I did it, I lasted 10. So I'm back up to my 30 minutes. And, you know, as long as I do something, I have been feeling really great mood wise. So very, very happy about that. And I'm hoping if I can go 30 days straight instead of saying three to five days a week, that it'll just become a part of my routine easier because I don't know, I'm having a hard time with the exercise piece as far as finding time. I did start recording in the morning again, which really makes me happy because it's a little small bit of peace before I go to work. And I just love having like, it doesn't have to even be a serious look, but I just love sitting and chatting uh, before work for uh, you know those videos. And it really makes me happy. So it's gonna be tough to do the exercise in the morning too because I'd have to get up even earlier, but maybe I can alternate like exercise one day, record one day. So I'm still trying to work that out and just get that together. And I also have a student intern starting on Monday, which I've never had. I've been teaching for 20 years, but I still, <laughs> I don't know. I still feel like I'm new every single year. It's crazy. And I did mention, oh, I don't think I did because that's going to be in tomorrow's video. Mm. Anyway, uh, I had my observation this weekend. It went very well. So I'll probably be talking about it in tomorrow's video, um, getting prepared for it and stuff like that. But it did go well. All right. It's not what y'all asked for, but just wanted to give y'all a little life update. So let me know what's going on with y'all because I'm always interested. I really am. I really am interested. It might not sound like I am, but I, I really am genuinely. So let's get into this. As per usual, we're starting with makeup release for Radar Official. And I just feel like there's a lot going on let me try to figure out where we left off last week all right I may be overlapping just a taste so please forgive me if I am not sure if I talked about this palette by Unearthly Cosmetics and this is the not in the mood palette it's 12 water activated liner split pans and there's a new brush set which I'll show and I think there is a release date for this. I think this packaging is really pretty, but this release is not for me. I don't think it's being sent to me. And to be honest, I know Unearthly Cosmetics uh, posted and said something about them losing their PR list. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. <laughs> so we'll see. But I know this palette isn't something I would really use because I don't use uh, graphic liners. Sorry, I clicked off. But yeah, the, the packaging is really cute. Like, oh, it's Serendipity. Serendipity did this. So I think it is, it is Serendipity. So Serendipity did the Poison Apple palette. It was originally called Serendipity. Mm. Uh, Serendipity is a great artist. Let me see if I can scroll up to the release because I think we do have more info because I saw the brushes. The Unearthly Cosmetic brushes are nice. I have the original set and I do still use those. So this releases on the 27th at 11 a.m. CST and this uh, graphic liner palette is $30. And then I did see the brushes as well. Here they are. Same time, it's an eight piece orange complexion brush set. Uh, this is all a pass, so I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna try to hold y'all. I say it every time and then I end up chatting. Chatting is fun. 
We might have talked about Ace Butte. Uh, this is a pass. It's not exactly like this at all, but I thought about Enduring Love with this palette. I just have palettes that are like this, like these kind of romantic type palettes. This one's called Smoky Roses. So I'm going to pass on this. Let me know how you like Ace Butte. I have not tried their newer formula, but it is a beautiful color story. This is already available. So let me know what you think about this one. Um, no. Sorry, not even gonna do that. Say Beauty. Ooh, I think I hear the mail. All right, Say Beauty is coming out with the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer, and I'm guessing these are new shades. I have not tried this, but I hear that it's excellent. I am still working through bronzers that I have, and the one that I have closest to this is the Chanel Cream Bronzer. So this is gonna be a pass, but I hear this is great. $32 each. If you're looking for a cream bronzer, I, I hear great things, but it's a pass. Didn't like the Safari palette from Clarity. I love that it's in the smaller pan form, but this color story is a bit all over the place for me. So I did pass on this. Please let me know if you purchased it. It is $27 and Clarity also had a older palette that re-released for a short amount of time, I think available for purchase for the next 72 hours so when was this posted this was like a couple of days ago so i'm not sure if it's available it's called the python eyeshadow palette and i think it's nice i'm wondering did they find palettes like when things like this happen do people find the palettes or do they make them let me know i think it's a cool color story but it's just not something that I really need um, at this time. I am trying to be more careful with eyeshadow palettes and so far I'm, I'm happy with uh, what I've been doing. So I can admire that from afar. I think that's it for clarity. Hi. Hi. I got my shirt. Okay. What, you, what do you want to do? Can you wipe your, okay, you can put on your phone, just wipe your mouth and you can, I'm, I know you found it. I was, we, you were here. Okay, close the door, wipe your mouth. Awesome. All right, that was it for clarity. Okay. All right. I've not tried this brand. It's Ami Kole. I'm not sure if that's the exact pronunciation, so let me know. But these are Desert Date Cream Brush and Lip Multi Stick. These look really nice, but I have to admire from afar, at least for now. Maybe during the Sephora sale, possibly. But I just don't need any products like this because I have some cream products. I, I do like these colors though. So I'll keep an eye on them. Oh, now let's talk about this. You need to leave. I think this is the first time ever in my makeup life, which is going on four years that I've seen swatches too light for a fair person because this, what is this? I, so this is called the Mac X Richard Quinn collection. I don't know who this is. I cannot get the okie doke with Mac because I don't know what's going on. I, I was boo boo the fool fell for the banana in the tailpipe with the Whitney Houston palette. And now there's this. This is not fit for a ghost. I don't understand why these shades look like this. Now look at the shades, now, look at that, and then look at that. Th Mac needs to stop. Th totally off my radar now with this. I just, uh, all of it's a no, all of it. Every single thing, exclusive to Selfridges. Okay, and, and it can stay there. It can stay right there, moving on. Looks like several brands are coming out with the Charlotte Tilbury type uh, wand release. And I'm not sure, $35. I mean, I, the Charlotte Tilbury ones, I'm sure were like 38. So you might as well get that one. That's how I feel about it. I have the contour wand, I have a highlighter, and I think I have one or two of like the blush ones from Charlotte Tilbury. And I really like them. And I'm still using them, so I'm not going to get this, but I don't know. And I'm tired of the tape, blush tape, shape tape. I'm, I got to move on, y'all. I'm sorry. If you've tried that, though, let me know. I'm sure it's not a bad product. I just think it's 
very similar in price to the Charlotte Tilbury. So you might as well get the original. Now this is Badass Beauty X Ash E E. Gel Queen on a Gel Queen collection. Okay, this is a no. I don't know, but it's a no. So I have to move on. Now I saw some reviews or some like makeup, new makeup releases videos where some content creators were excited about Pusheen. I am not knowledgeable, but it is cute. It's gonna be a pass for me, but I can imagine that if you like this character, you would probably really love these brushes and this whole set. I would like to share that I still have my Alice in Wonderland Spectrum collection brushes and I don't think I've used them. So I don't know. I feel like I should get let it go because I, I don't I cannot afford to get things to just put on display or look at. All right. This is something else by Nude Sticks. Intense matte lip and cheek matte lipstick pencil. All right, these are no, but eventually I think I would like to try nude sticks. They look really creamy and nice. So I am just gonna, oh man, I'm just gonna admire that from afar. Those shades look nice. It's looking like Cleona's having a restock and they're gonna be doing some rolling restocks from what I've read throughout the year. They have some circle shadows coming and then some stained glasses. Um, that are restocking and this already happened at this point, but they're probably still available. They had another post where they had one of the shades in particular and it looked really nice. This one, Happy Accident, that looks really pretty. I'm sure I have something similar. I only will buy from Cleona maybe once or twice a year because the shipping is $15. So I like to make it worth, you know, my while. I'm not gonna just buy one shade. Skin Glass Beauty is releasing a cream bronzer and these look, I mean, they look edible. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a pass just because I don't need any bronzers, but they look really nice and they look like they will definitely encompass lots of skin tones. Let's see, do we have a price? I don't see one here, but these are available. So check out skinglass.com if you are interested. I can imagine these are gonna be really nice. Mm. I would do like the caramel or the uh, cinnamon. They look nice. All right, here's the first nostalgic release. And this is a Catrice and My Little Pony collection. Now, I'm not even gonna give this to You Need to Leave. I'm just over the nostalgic releases, but I will tell you, I was a huge My Little Pony collector. And I remember I had the little pony, there was one that was like a boy and he was sitting down and he was like a yellow orange and he had um, like a, light blue hair and he was in the sitting position. He couldn't stand. That's sad. And then I had all kinds of other ones. Um, you know who I want to see doing my little pony collection for real? Melt. Like I need Melt to do something like that because it would be edgy and cool. I don't know anything about Catrice but I can imagine lots of friends are going to love this and the makeup protection may not protect them from this because like you have the highlighter that looks like the pony hair and I don't know is Catrice where is Catrice sold I don't know but it's coming soon and it's affordable. I have no knowledge of this brand so let me know what you think about this collection is it cute or are we done because I'm done with this. I'm not gonna give it that you need to leave because it's cute. It is very, very cute. And I know it's pulling on the heartstrings of many. I also like that all of the friends of Strawberry Shortcake are included. It's not just Strawberry, she's got the whole, the whole crew. And I like that. Do I like these palettes? No. Do I like that the tops of the palettes come off? Absolutely not. Do I like that the tops of the palette come off I I cannot stand that and it makes me sad but I can see someone that loves strawberry shortcake and friends look at look at that like maybe sitting them on display looking them up things like that I can see someone who's a fan putting these on display like just like sitting them up on the vanity or something like that and that someone is not going to be me but it's definitely cute now I was gonna say I don't know this 
brand honeydew. So let me know if you know, because I don't know. But this is also coming soon. Looks like a pre-order will be available on February 27th. I love that orange blossom, girl. Yes, but no. All right, let's see what else we've got. Gen C Beauty, never have heard of it. Another cream, uh, cheek and lip color. So there's a lot of that coming out now. So, you know, just choose wisely because we do not need them all. Just like we don't need this palette. The Royalty Palette from Elsewhere Cosmetics. Oh, and this is a volume one, which means there's gonna be a volume two. This looks like the typical private label formula. I don't know for sure, but that's what it looks like. $17. It's a pass. Chanel is going to be a pass and I love me some Chanel, but, uh, I already have my red quad from them. So it's like, I only need the one and I'm good. Spring, summer, 2023, not ready for summer. Uh, these colors look repetitive. So we're just going to move on from that. Uh, we've talked about this Chanel collection. So I'm moving on. Arrow palette restocked. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, nothing. Pixie has a sun mist. So this is a weightless invisible broad spectrum SPF 50 mist. So that looks nice under or on top of makeup. Um, this is a pass. I'm still using my Tatcha sunscreen serum. So I'm going to ride that till the wheels fall off. Oh, we already talked about that. Hmm. Notoriously Morbid has some Diablos and Morbid Mattes. I have a bunch of these and they're really, really nice. Lots of nice, unique colors, but I'm going to pass because I have some of these, not these exact ones. So, you know, I'm trying to limit the uh, lip product um, collection here. Let's see. I'm not doing any foundations right now, but Laura Mercier has a real flawless foundation might have talked about this last week as well 30 shades this is available 48 dollars. it is a pass i have been wearing my nars foundation recently right now i just have on the dior forever concealer and the drunk elephant like rosy drops that's all i've got on pat mcgrath divine rose uh lip divinal and that's it and I'm happy with this. So I'm going to just keep going with what I've got. Meet Alley Oop. Okay, no. Thomas, this electric cherry is a no. I'm sorry. It. I, I think, I wonder, because I'm really, really attracted to this quad. And I talked about this quad weeks ago. But I wonder what I feel the same about it if it was in the regular brown packaging. And my guess is no. So it's a no. Dominique Cosmetics has a new palette, the Essential Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this looks, she came out with a palette not long, well, a while ago actually. She came out with a palette a while back that was like the transition palette. I've never tried this brand, so I don't know, but I'm not really interested. And I really was not trying to try new brands like that. The house labs kind of snuck in there with the gift cards though. But other than that, with my own personal money, um, this is not something I'm interested in. I mean, I'm not interested in it with anyone's money. So it looks like a nice basic palette, but you know, we just have to think about, do we have something like this? I think a lot of us do. <sighs> it's a Myers restock and moving on. Okay. So, a sugar drizzle polish looks like they're expanding their line because I think they have, are they the ones that have a contour wand? So I, I don't know much about sugar drizzle polish. Uh, let me know what you think about them coming out with these new products. But I think at this point, most of us have like the complexion products that we like. So I would not be interested in trying a powder from sugar drizzle polish, especially because I don't think their uh, palettes are like handmade. So I'm, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. We've got a fragrance from Carolina Herrera and she's got the good girl perfume, but it's the blush, you know, with the high heel. We have top notes of bergamot and mandarin. We have heart notes of Lang Lang and peony. Ooh, and base notes of vanilla absolute and tonka bean. And right now it's at Saks. I would love to smell this because that sounds delicious. Oh, let me show y'all something. Do y'all see this? What am I gonna do? 
I hate the fact that I cannot buy a refill and it went on sale and then it went off and is back on. This is the cream chiffon from House of Siage. This is my new signature scent. Like it smells like vanilla sandalwood and I love it so much. And I'm, I use it pretty much every single day. And now I'm layering it with Bitter Peach by Tom Ford because I found that at the CCO. I put it with my dossier, um, tobacco vanille knockoff. I'm just really sad because I'm going to have to get another one. I love that scent so much, y'all. They need to make refills. Like I don't need another cupcake. I really don't. I really don't. It's not like you can reuse them either. So that that's that. All right, let's keep going with what we need to do. Ole Hendrickson has Banana Bright Vitamin CC Sticks. Um, this is a color fix for dark circles. And it's a color correcting eye cream stick. So that is very nice. I am going to pass on this just because I still have things in my skincare drawer that I'm working through. But this looks like a nice release. Wait a minute. Are there different shades? Oh, so we have shades based on the color of your dark circles. I've never heard of that. So if you have blue dark circles, you get the pumpkin apricot is for blue, purple and banana is for purple. That's interesting, right? Is that innovative? I feel like that's innovative. Hmm. $34 available to 28. Sephora. Let me know what y'all think about that. Hmm. I'm kind of into that. Okay. I didn't Zoeva. No, let's see. V cosmetics. Oh, I've heard of V cosmetics, but what is this? No, we're not getting highlighters. Y'all we're just, we don't need it. Valentino has a concealer. It's probably a hundred dollars. Oh, it's only $35 only. Wait, what am I talking about? No, uh, this is a no. But let me know if you've tried any of the Valentino uh, makeup because I haven't. Let me know. Neon Hippie, I don't know what that is. What's so no? More Honeydew. What is this? No, no lip gloss. No. Linda Hallberg. Oh, I think she has lip products coming out. So we'll pout and shout. Naughty Torty Face Palette. Okay, no. Okay, Elf has a collab, the Bonsu box. Are these favorites? Oh, yeah, curated. Yeah, this is not something I need, so I will definitely skip it. The whole box is $59, and then you can use a code. But I'm going to pass on this, but yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Glisten Cosmetics, I've never heard of them, but they have something called Spectra Lash. So these are colored mascaras. Um, I'm glad to see these, although I don't need it, but I had a yellow mascara that I really, really liked from ColourPop. Oh my gosh, my mom called and now I'm like, I don't even know what I was talking about. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, the colored mascara. So I don't know. Oh, and then my car was full. So I had, I had a colored mascara from ColourPop, a yellow one that I really liked and they would never restock it. So I'm glad to see these. These are $11. This is a pass for now. Talked about House Labs. I did get the Hibiscus Haze, this one here, and then the Watermelon Bliss, but these two at the top, I'll have to try these out, but those might be next. I don't know. I. I didn't get the peach one because I have some cream blushes from Melt that are that color, like Honey Thief, Sandy Cheeks. Oh, those cream blushes by Melt. I need to do a oldie but goodies video or like old makeup that's still great because those cream blushes and the ones with the honeycomb on them too, those are so awesome. Uh, let's move on. What is this? Another thing by Pout and Shout. That's no. Okay, what? What is this? Oh, a lip balm. Okay, no. All right, I'm trying to keep it all together. Vive is coming out with something. I don't know what it is. Probably some lip stuff. I haven't been like really, I like Jamie Genevieve, but I haven't really been into the releases lately. The Moonfall palette is restocking. Kind of tempted by this, but still admiring from afar. I have just seen really, really great reviews on this palette and it looks great but right now it's still a pass. Now, 
Rose Ink has something that I'm interested in and it's a sunscreen serum. I am not interested in getting it right now because I'm using my Tatcha one, but it's this Solar Power Luminous SPF 30 serum. So I know it's at Sephora. Right now it's a pass. It's definitely something I would have my eye on for the Sephora sale because probably by that time, I'll need another uh, face sunscreen. Let's see what else, y'all. I'm trying to skip around here. More Catrice. Okay, don't know that brand. Saw this teaser about bringing House of L back from Adept in a 15 pan versus a nine pan, which I would wholeheartedly get and get the repeat shades. I don't think this is gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, someone said make two versions. Yes. Oh, yes. Now this is smart. The new 15 pan and then a separate version with the new shades only. Two years. Oh, no. I don't know. No. She said, hopefully by then you would have reached panel several shades. That means she's not planning on making two versions and two years. Okay, let me move on because I can't. Let me see if there's anything else. Uh, Linda Hallberg has these uh, lip balmy shades coming out. Oh, Fantastic. Okay, these are nose. We have a palette from Martine Cosmetics. Looks very neutral. That's gonna be a no. Not with that matte, is that a matte white shade? That's definitely a no. I'm trying to get us through this. Ooh, Glow Recipe, Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. That looks nice, but it's a no, you guys. No, I don't need any of this. Is this available now? On the 27th at Sephora. Let's see what else. No, Sugar Drizzle. Okay, Fantasy Cosmetics. This palette looks great. And I don't know anything about Fantasy or Fantasy Cosmetica. Uh, this looks like our traditional indie formula in a beautiful color story. It looks really good, nice and cool. Did I talk about this already? Maybe in my mind. I like it. I do like it. I'm not going to get it, but I do like it. I know I have that shade in the upper left hand corner for sure. Let me know if you've tried this brand. I like the color story, you know, uh, sometimes it's all about the color story and the layout, but I know the uh, formula is going to be very similar to things I have. So I've got to move on. What is this? This is a no y'all. I'm sorry. Cause it's, we're starting to get, it's starting to take a long time. Got some polish. Who's this? No. Talked about this. I hinted at this Easter palette or Easter singles by Sam Beauty 86. I've never heard of this brand. So let me know what you know, because I don't know. Oh, we skipped something. I wanted to talk about this. So this is the official magical makeup brand. And when I saw this, I was like, wow. And these are like limited homemade palettes. And I was like, ooh, this looks so good. It's called uh, Magical Earth, but uh, it's for sparkling press glitters. You need to leave. No. I'm tired. Like, I love this color story. I was very, very excited when I saw this, even though I probably still wouldn't have gotten it, but I, I love the idea that it was homemade. Definitely, it's a companion palette, but not no four press glitters. Don't nobody want four press glitters? Four? No, I'm so sorry about them four press glitters because this palette is $66. Uh, not with no glitters inside. It surely isn't. Surely is not. Not me, no ma'am. I'm not doing that. Restock of Glaminatrix, nearly natural, ships in March. This looks like the Dominique Cosmetics palette, doesn't it? The one that we saw earlier. I would pick this over that, but I'm not waiting for the shipping from Australia, so there's that. The Dominique one will probably get there soon. Tater rounds, nope, not doing it. That's definitely not happening here. Uh, what is this? Okay, no, sorry, be perfect. I can't do it. Nail polish. Heart blushes are no. We've got some color correctors from Tarte coming out. Let's see what they call this one. Shape tape corrector. Oh, real clever here. 
You know what I did not talk about? Let me go down because I forgot. And then I have seen reviews already. I don't see it on her page. Okay, let me just finish then. And then we'll, we'll get to that. What is this? No. I've never heard of Beauty Counter. But I saw a lot of these uh, products on the Ulta site. Let me know what you know. Ooh, $76. Ooh, this is a, a pricey brand, like a luxury brand. Let me know what you know about Beauty Counter, because I know nothing. What is this, Winkle Larry? Okay, no. Let me go to Trim Move real fast, because y'all brand Urban Decay. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. What? All right, sorry. Um, I'm sorry if that sound is getting on y'all nerves, but this is getting on my nerves. <sighs> so I'm happy, I guess, that Urban Decay is doing some colors. But what is this smiley? Smiley? What? What are you? Are you collaborating with a, a smiley face? I hate it. I really cannot stand this. I am really not happy about it. Now, am I happy to see the color? Yes. Am I happy? You know, no, I'm not happy. And you know what? I don't like it. I don't naked smiley. So I, I don't, let me know what y'all think. I mean, I'm happy to, oh, <laughs> looking at the comments. <laughs> The packaging is a 10. The color story looks, oh, I know doodles. I know. Rinse and repeat. How can they keep doing this to us all? How about no? Is it, yes. Who is this? Lauren J. McCarty. They, sh they should just bring back the original three naked palettes at this point. I agree. Okay. So this is a no all across the board. There are some reviews, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. No. Smiley. Smileys. Oh, no. come on and go with me. All right. No, John. Sorry. I love you, but no. Ugh, no. <laughs> Let me um, finish this video up, y'all. I'm so sorry because this is starting to be ridiculous. Let's go to the luxury crew or person. And there's nothing here. Ooh, what does she have on here, though? That's pretty. What is on her eyes? Uh, she's not sharing what's on her eyes. So I don't know what to say about that. Let's wrap this up. Overall, I feel like we're still very successful this week. I don't see anything that I want. I, I'm, I am in liking that fantasy cosmetica palette but i'm not going to get it because i know i'm not going to use it just like the chucky one didn't cave on that maybe for a sale i'm just not going to use that palette i did cave on the house labs you know with my gift cards but you know i feel like that's okay uh blush is not something that i tend to go overboard with so purchasing those two blushes and maybe getting a couple more at the sephora sale i'm okay with that because it's not something i have overdone it with i, I looked at my blush collection today it's really not out of control in my mind so maybe i'll do a blush collection video it's the eyeshadow palettes and i i feel pretty good with where where i am and i'm i'm happy about that because that was where the money was just going to the eyeshadows so i'm happy let me know if anything is calling your name this week let me know if there's something you need to really be talked out of or let me know what you've purchased because it's not about not buying anything at all it's about just being a little bougie about it, being a critical shopper and 
really making sure we're not falling for the, the okie doke and the banana in the tailpipe. You know, we are not trying to do that. So that's going to be it for this edition of the makeup protection program. Let me know if there's anything that I missed and we can definitely talk about it down in the comments. But for now, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one. And I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me until I see you again. Make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself. Nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.